I was recently talking to a woman, let's call her Lisa, who was trying to figure out her next chapter in life. She had spent much of her career in the insurance industry and had climbed the ranks. She was a successful businesswoman. She was really good at what she did, but was perceiving her work not to be as inspiring or as philanthropic as she would want for this next chapter in her life. She told me that as part of her legacy, she wanted to either work for or run a nonprofit, though she knew that it would mean a hit in terms of her income. And as soon as she said this, I had this epiphany. Purpose and a paycheck are not mutually exclusive. I think the reason why this epiphany came to me so quickly is because I hear this narrative a lot from successful businesswomen. This idea that to do good in the world means that you have to work for a nonprofit. Yet, as someone who's worked in both the public and the private sector, I've never felt that the for-profit world inhibited me from executing on my life's work of advancing women and girls. One of the things that I love about millennials is that they're the first generation to assume that their livelihood and their ability to create change in the world are one in the same thing. And I think that more of us should follow suit. Last summer, I had the opportunity to hear an interview with Howard Schultz, the former CEO of Starbucks, in which he talked about how the role of a public company isn't just to earn profits, but to do good in the world. And I feel really lucky that I started my own for-profit venture that has a purpose of helping women to clarify and meet their life intentions. So. If you're at a crossroads and you feel like you've spent much of your career focused on capitalism instead of social impact, I want you to know that there's no need to completely reinvent yourself or to exchange one towel for the other. It's possible to both do good and earn a great living. Remember, purpose and a paycheck are not mutually exclusive. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.